Good morning. It is really nice right now. It's like 58 degrees, not even 60 degrees yet. The sun is shining. Matt mowed the yard. Not entirely happy about that one, but it just feels great outside. Um, and I have something to show you guys that is really, well, I got a couple some things actually, but one something that I know all of you were waiting for just as long as I have been. I've actually started this again, fermenting feed, because the chickens are currently at that point where it costs more than they're worth. And I have to cover it. I bought this neat little basket to put hay in for the bottle calf, so I thought she'd be able to find the hay faster, or easier this way. And it works. She just wallers the heck out of it, so... I pulled it out this morning, and now I'm gonna pull it back up. These guys are ready to go out, but I gotta take care of. Hello, baby potato. Oh my goodness! Look at you on top of the ball. So pretty. Hello, baby potato. I love them. I love the potatoes. They are my favorites. Don't tell everybody else that, but the potatoes, they are my favorites. <laughs> I have a few chores to do before I take to show you the thing that I'm the most excited about right now. But, before I get to my other chores, I want to take a little look at my sweet girls. Hold on. Hi, babies. How are you doing? Hello. You've got more ears than you do legs, I think.
12. Feed the last group of chickens and then you'll get to see our uh, our pleasant little <laughs> surprise. Other than that surprise, Matt brought home another dog. <laughs> This one barks a lot. His name is Amos, and he's actually a full brother to Cletus, so he will be a hog dog. I know there's a lot of people that don't... Amos! I know there's a lot of people who don't like that, but at the same time, these dogs are bred for a specific purpose, and we are overrun with wild hogs in our country right now, in our part of the country anyway. And... I think it's very beneficial. Matt thinks it's very beneficial. And the best way to go about hunting and removing these things is with dogs. Dogs can get in. Hogs don't get scared of traps, things like that. But let me feed these little bannies. Well, I'm done officially with feeding chickens. I'll show you our little surprise right now. Dogs, y'all aren't very smart. But if you look over there by the black cow, you'll see a tiny little black bull calf. How are you? Hi there. It was born a couple days ago and it's been it rained so I didn't get to get out here and get a good video. But we had our second calf. Now this is Heifer, Wyatt's full size cow, um, Brangus. And he is out of my 35 inch tall zebu bull. Kind of, <laughs> I, we didn't know if it would happen or not, but you know, he's there. We got a calf, that's all that matters, I guess. And mama loves him, so that's a big thing. Now we're just waiting on these two girls here. See what they have. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we're not sure if Splashy was Guthrie's or if she was a different bull's because when we bought Laramie, she was exposed. <coughs> and we weren't sure, when we bought Laramie, she was exposed to a, another bull. So we weren't sure who it was, but the way the dates fall, we're leaning more toward it's not Guthrie's versus it is Guthrie's because if Guthrie would have bred her, the calf would have been born about now, like little bull calf is. So, Splashy's probably gonna stay <laughs> and have babies out of Guthrie. We'll see. All right guys, I am standing next to this really bright white horse trailer. Thank you guys for watching and what are y'all eating? Thank you guys for watching and supporting our channel. I really appreciate it. Just a quick morning. Just wanted to show you guys our new little surprise. And uh, he's not named yet. But uh, I'm sure the boys will come up with something. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon. God bless.